What's up? Welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, uh, some of you guys might think this is a funnier type of video, uh, but I'm going to be dead serious <laughs> with a lot of this stuff that I talk about here. And the title is Broke Trainers versus $10,000 per month trainers. And this is something I have seen across the board with coaches and trainers who start a business or they've been in business for a while uh, and they need a lot of help with their business and they maybe they just don't make certain changes right and here's the deal everyone when they start to bit when every coach trainer when they start a business they are broke with their business right so broke is is okay that's that's if you are starting now if you've been in business for five years and you're still broke, we got to make some changes, right? But here's my list here. I have um, my little notepad here. So I'm going to read off this uh, as I go through it. So number one thing that I see that um, broke trainers do versus 10K a month trainers is when <clears throat> broke trainers on social media, this is what they do. They pull out their phone, they go like this, they go. They use their thumb and they look at their phone for about five hours per day watching what other people do. And then during those same five hours that they were going like this, all right, the 10K a month trainer, they are not doing that. They are publishing to social media. They are not consuming. Right now, does that mean you shouldn't be a consumer on social media? In my opinion, yeah, that means you shouldn't be a consumer on social media, like unless you're wanting to learn. Right? There's a difference between watching my videos and watching like short clips of Beyonce. <laughs> right? If you're learning from me, that will help you. If I am a huge distraction in your life, well, that's not going to help you. That's why my channel is for coaches that want to learn and grow their business, period, right? So you should use social media to learn, but you should be using, I'd say 90% of what you do on social media should be so you can publish. You are a publisher. You are not a consumer. And what I see a lot of broke trainers do, if I log into their iPhone and I pulled up the report on how much time they spend on Instagram per day, I promise you, it's over two hours per day. And then when I pull up Facebook, it's at least an hour a day. So three hours out of their day right there, wasting. Three times seven, that's 21 hours. That's almost a full day. Per, and that's every, every week, all right? Time, take that times four, that's almost four days worth of time just scrolling like a zombie and not publishing. So when you are a publisher, right, that means you are marketing what you do. This is what successful coaches do. They are great at using social media as a tool, not as a distraction, all right? Huge difference there. And ultimately, the, my favorite part about it is you get to decide how you use it. I use my social media a very specific way. It works for me, all right? It can work for anyone if they stop consuming all the bull crap that is distracting, right? Also, I don't know if you know this, the people who started like Instagram, stuff like that, they're very, very good at understanding your psychology. What's gonna get you to tap? What's gonna get you to stay on their platform the longest, right? And you, again, you should not be someone who's distracted. You are, should be someone who is publishing. All right, when you publish, that puts you at the front of the market. And when you do that consistently, that shows that you are the authority. All right, pretty simple how that works. You either use it to drive your business or you use it to get distracted and go look at Beyonce, <laughs> All right? Uh, next one here, man, this is something I wish I knew when I started my business. And once I figured this out, my business changed for the better, which is, Broke trainers don't follow schedule. Successful trainers do, right? If you've watched my channel in the past, like you know I have a whiteboard here. Uh, it's 
to this side of the screen. Uh, when I get in the office, right, I don't turn around and say, hey, cowboy, uh, what do I need to do today? Right? He's never said a word to me in his life. Right? That's why I like him. He doesn't talk back to me. <laughs> right? But on my whiteboard, I write out what the heck I'm doing tomorrow, hour by hour. That has happened for years. Now, before that happened, I would just wake up and try to find things to do. I'm going to go try to make this website. I'm going to go try to sell this apparel. I'm going to occasionally market myself. That doesn't work. So you need to be disciplined with how you spend your time during the day and what are you actually doing? Is it listed out, right? The most successful coach I'm helping right now, all right? This, this will show you the, the level of detail I'm talking about, all right? When he wakes up tomorrow, all right? And I know this because this is something I've helped him with. When he wakes up tomorrow, he knows what he's doing for the next 30 days, all right? And all of that is hour by hour, 30 days, scripted, do this, do this, do this, stop doing this, don't do this anymore, all right? That is way different than waking up and floating around the day, <laughs> all right? You can't just wake up and float around. When you do that, your time is going to get swallowed up by other people, right? And the other thing that broke trainers do is when their buddy texts them or call, calls them, they're like, hey, what's up, dude? And they'll talk for 45 minutes about nothing, right? Successful coaches don't do that. And the easiest example I could give you, right? Easiest example is we like to model success, right? Who's the most successful person on the planet right now? I believe it's Jeff Bezos. It's either him or one of those people in Saudi Arabia who has like trillions of dollars, <laughs> right? But let's take Jeff Bezos, right? I often think of this, and it's a, such a weird thought, but I often think if Bezos was sitting around at his office just going like this on Instagram, how is that going to help his company? He didn't get to where he is today by scrolling around on Instagram, right? He didn't get there by, by taking phone calls and catching up with his buddies. Right? And you can see there, all right? Phone call that just came in. Click. All right? I don't take unscheduled calls. All right? Successful coaches only operate by taking scheduled calls. Big difference. All right? So I hope that helps you. You can't, you cannot operate a business if you're distracted all day over the phone. All right? You're not going to be able to do that. You can't do it at a high level because your time's going to be swallowed up, right? And I know broke trainers, they spend way too much time being distracted. They don't have a set schedule, all right? Next one here, okay? Marketing. Broke trainers don't know how to market what they do or they're too afraid, right? They're afraid. They don't know what to do uh, or they try it and then they realize, oh, well, that didn't work. So marketing is not going to work for I will tell you from experience, I was the dumbest dude on the planet when it came down to marketing when I first started my business, right? And I will tell you now, if I quit this YouTube channel, if I got rid of all my businesses, I, I feel very confident someone could hire me and, and pay me a quarter million dollars a year to help them with their marketing. I feel very confident. That's because I have busted my chops. I have learned it. I have tried it, I study it, I get better at it, I constantly practice, right? If you're on my email newsletter, you know what I'm talking about, right? You know what I'm talking about. And successful coaches, what they do is they are consistent with their marketing. They learn from their mistakes. They keep going and they know they want to be the top dog with what they do because they are going to be more consistent than everyone else. And I'll tell you, my strength in business is consistency. I show up and do the crap when no one else wants to do it, right? When other people want to stay up late and eat pizza and, and watch 
Friday Night Tights, right? I love that show, by the way. But when they want to do that, right, I'm asleep getting ready for the next day, so my marketing message goes out. Right? Big difference. You get to choose how you live your life. Right? Successful coaches are consistent across the board. Right? Next one here, let's see if I can read my handwriting, is sales. Right? Pretty simple. Successful coaches are good at selling, and they know if they swing the bat 10 times, they know what their conversion rate is. Right? Successful coaches record their calls. Successful coaches have a script. Successful coaches know how to ask the right questions at the right time and lead the prospect from start to finish, which the finish line is them joining the program. Right? Broke trainers, this is what they do. All right? They'll be at dinner and someone's gonna call to be like, hello, and they have like mashed potatoes in their mouth. Right? While, while they're taking a phone call and they're like, oh, this is a sales call and they're going to spit out their, their food. <laughs> right? Or they got music in the background or their kids are screaming in the background. Right? Can't do that. It's not a sales call. Right? A sales call is organized. A sales call comes from you where you are the one who is determining with the prospect, here's when our call is. I'm calling you and you are in a quiet, undisturbed area. Right? Sales calls when you have your notepad out, right? And you're taking notes. And we understand what's going on. Right? Sales call is very organized. And a sales call has a starting point and ending point. And I will say the the most successful coaches I've ever helped, and I, I, I look at myself when I, when I talk about this too. If I didn't improve on sales, I would not be creating all this YouTube content. Right? We wouldn't, if, if I wasn't good at sales, we would not have 91 coaches in our mastermind right now. That, and those coaches are helping thousands of kids worldwide. Right? Thousands. Right? So I had to learn it. All right? And that's something most people are so afraid of. They think, oh, well, I have to be so salesy. That's just not my character. Um, I'm too shy. Trust me when I say this. I'm a pretty shy dude. Right? We went out to, to go to a bar or a party or restaurant. It doesn't matter where we're at, right? I'm normally the person that's in the corner of the room. I don't like a bunch of attention. I don't need to be this salesy guy. I don't need to be this marketer who's super salesy. That's not me. It's not my nature either. But that doesn't mean I can't learn how to sell, right? And that comes down to self-limiting beliefs. And if you don't know what self-limiting beliefs are, go watch the video we have. Just search my channel, Self-Limiting Beliefs, and you'll see the video I recently posted, right? And you don't have to be the salesy person. You need to know how to communicate, right? Big difference, right? Now, that stems into the next one, which is communication, right? Broke trainers do not communicate properly with their clients. Broke trainers do not set standards with their clients. Broke trainers don't have any standards. They just show up, get paid cash and check. They're like, all right, sweet, I got 50 bucks. Now I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go back home, buy some Doritos and a Dr. Pepper with this money, and then I'm gonna stack the rest of it under my, my bed at home, right? That's not how you run a business, okay? But they're not communicating with their clients how they want things done, right? Successful coaches have systems, they have processes, they streamline things. This is why like, I set up my mastermind a very particular way for coaches to take something that works very, very well and implement it. So they can sleep better at night, they have better relationships with their clients, the communication is through the roof so much easier between coaches and their clients, right? But that's the thing. Successful coaches have that ironed out. Broke coaches do not have that ironed out and they struggle with communication and that's because they are afraid to lead and yes, I'm talking to you. If you're watching this video, you're afraid to lead. You're afraid to give action steps to people, right? Can't be afraid. You need to do it. You need to step up. And the last one here, I've talked about this at nauseum on my channel. So don't click out yet, right? It's the commitment of clients. 
broke trainers have zero commitment from their clients. Successful coaches and trainers have six months, year, two years, five years commitments uh, from clients. So there's a big difference. You're not running the hamster wheel of finding new clients all the time. You're, you should be running the hamster wheel of closing new clients. Oh, I close a new client today. Oh, I'm closing a new client tomorrow. That should be the hamster wheel you're running, right? You should not be running the hamster wheel. Oh, I need to find someone new because that person is out of my program now or that person decided not to pay me this month. Can't run your business that way. It is not a business, right? And I'm going to say this. I don't care if you're making 20 G's a month getting cash and checks. It's not a business unless you're getting paid online, all right? I, I saw someone who, who was making $80,000, right? Talked to him over the phone right after Corona hit. $80,000 a month. His business is at zero right now. The old dinosaur didn't change, didn't change his methods. He might be watching this video right now. I don't freaking care, right? Didn't change his methods, right? Can't run your business like a dinosaur getting paid cash and checks. You need to run your business like a business. It's like me going into Apple and saying, hey, I want to buy the, the MacBook Pro. And they're like, okay, cool. Uh, just take it. Pay us back later. I see a lot of coaches and trainers operate their business that way. They're like, yeah, take this session. Pay me back later. We'll figure it out. Right? <laughs> That's not a business. All right? Very clear cut. That is not a business. So you need to work with committed clients. Right? To, to get to 10,000 or more per month, you have to have clients who are way more committed. They have more skin in the game. They're more serious about uh, your program. They want to be a part of your program for a long period of time because of the results that you get for them, right? So I hope that helps. You can be a broke trainer or you can be a successful trainer, all right? Both, all right, this crazy thing, both have nothing to do with how good of a coach you are. Both have everything to do with how you decide to run your business. And if you're sick and tired of struggling with your business and you want to break through the 10,000 or 20,000 or 30,000 or 40,000 per month level, right? Reach out to me. We already have case studies of a lot of coaches who are doing that. They're doing those types of numbers. Uh, like this is not an overnight thing. Right? It's not, not a gimmick. You got to work freaking hard. If you're going to work with me, you got to take, the action steps. You gotta follow the proven method of becoming successful with how we lay it out. If you do that, right, you'll you'll get there. Right? Doesn't happen overnight. But if you are one of those coaches and you're sick and tired of where you're at right now, reach out to me. My number is 210-960-5771. If you followed what I said about at the beginning, if you just try to call me, I'm not gonna pick up. It's not a scheduled call. <laughs> Right? So text me first, we'll schedule a call and we'll talk. We'll see if we're a good fit to help out. And I will tell you, there's such a clear difference between broke trainers and 10K a month trainers. It's, it's like two completely different people, right? And the great part about what I'm talking about is you can transition from a broke trainer and being as successful as you want. A lot of it's going to come down to your habits, how you operate, how you think of yourself and how you want to run your business and, and the change that you need to make. All right, that's it for today's video. Um, I'll be seeing you soon.